Hello, today I'm going to show you how to easily make symbolic links, hard links and junctions with the application link shell extension. Although this is in 64-bit, you can get 32-bit versions just as easily. Go to download.cnet.com shell link extension and click download now. Make sure the secure download is underneath it. Once you've installed it, just choose the location you want it to be installed. I will show you a quick example of how to use this tool. See here, I have a picture stored in drive C. I want to move it to drive D in this location. All I have to do is right click, cut and paste in the new destination. Now all I have to do is right click, pick link source and paste it, sorry, drop symbolic link into the original location. And it takes up no space on the original drive. This is especially handy if the file took up a lot of space and you wanted to store that larger file on your separate hard drive. Especially if you have a low capacity SSD or hard drive that contains your operating system or games, etc. But I'm just using this small picture as an example. See, it takes up 56.7 kilobytes, like which is nothing, but I just wanted to use that as an example because it was easy to move. So if it was like a 2 gigabyte file or something over here, it could still be located on the original location and the computer will think that it is stored here. It only takes up capacity on the separate drive wherever you want to store it. You'll see this green arrow here which represents a sim link. Just double click that like a shortcut and it will open the file as it has always done. Windows will detect it no differently than it ever has. I will now show you how to do this with folders. It can be a little bit more tricky with folders because if you just right click Cut, paste, right click, pick link source, and drop as junction, which you would do with a folder. It still takes up 3.43 megabytes. Now, the reason for this is with folders. See how there's a folder inside the folder with images. The way you have to do this is, just wait a second, I'll put it back here. The way you do this is create a new folder in the destination and call that test or whatever the exact name of the folder you want to move. And then inside that folder, you have to see if there's another folder, create a new folder and call it whatever that folder is. And if there's more folders inside that folder, you just keep going to get the same file structure. Now, what you would do is go in and find the files. You'd highlight them all, cut, and paste them in the same location as they were in the previous folder. Now, right click, pick link source, and drop symbolic link as you would have before. Now, this shouldn't take up, see, it does not take up any space at all. I don't know what the exact reason is, but with folders, you have to copy the files like as a group within the folders. It can be time consuming as I try to do it with um, 
like Microsoft Office 15 and there's tons and tons of folders and files so I just like gave up. <laughs> I found other ways to free up space but I'm just warning you, if you want to move, say, Microsoft Office 15, which is 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.61 gigabytes, you'll be in for a lot of work because you'll have to manually create all those folders, copy all the files within each of the folders, and yeah, it gets tedious very quickly suggest moving individual files if you had like games or saves with saves I actually just moved I didn't symblink these I just changed the location so that doesn't count but if you had a file with relatively small folder structures you could easily sim link the files and it won't take up any space but if you let me get rid of this if you just do pick link source and drop as like symbolic link or junction without making the folder structure it will still take up space so you just have to be careful with that I hope now you have a good idea of how to create basic junctions and sim links with both files and folders if you would like to see more tutorials based on sim links, junctions, hard links, etc. Please leave a comment below and I will try to do my best to assist in any way that I possibly can. Thanks for watching.